Hello and welcome back to another video on update for Kerry Bank. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've done an update, so I thought I'd bring everyone up to speed what I've been up to uh, on the construction of this O-gate layout. Um, did a lot of work on the storage level below. Uh, now we've got all the tracks in for the lower level. A lot of wires, so that's the next job to connect all them up. I've completed the gate, which um, brings the um line across the the shed uh, i'll show show all that um so and also i've uh, moved my computer to its permanent home and uh, found a home for my hi-fi and all the other bits and pieces so it's getting getting there anyway um i'll be doing work shortly on the wi-fi for the shed because all the controls will be um on ipads or uh, tablets control trains so um that will be a useful once I sort that out. So uh, let's get on with a bit of a video and I'll show you where we're up to and um, I'll see you soon. This is the first bit of the, the gate which crosses the shed at the door end. Uh, and we've used teplot to get all the cares correct. And uh, we just stuck a cargo wagon in it just for a demo. Right, I've been really busy and I've constructed the gate. Um, let me explain about, about the gate. Um, first of all, the main lay layout is 200 mil higher than the storage, storage level. So there's a need then to get from the storage level to the higher level uh, or as shallow a gradient as possible. So the way I've come up with that is you'll leave the workshop and then you'll come in in over here you'll start coming across here now you'll notice there's a bit of a gap here but you need to cross that that side so let me introduce the gate so this is a gate i constructed it comes across so that means that the lines can then come across here and go over there um there won't be a lot of traffic coming across there only just to entry and exit um from the storage and also from the workshop and also uh, this will go to the storage underneath on that side so you then be able to go all the way around underneath there and all the way around and then exit out there there'll, there'll be three roads going all the way around so that'll give you plenty of storage um but th this is the the main thing that we've done it took a lot of doing to do this uh, there's still a bit more work to do with it that's going to be edged with a um, nine mil, mil ply, um, and then we shall put some green um, underfloor insulation on it. But that's what I, I tend to use. Just put it all over the entire lay layout, and then just paint paint it grey. So then you've got sound deadening. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of uh, understanding. I'll show you how the actual gate closes anyway on the next little shot. This is the gate. Um, the construction of this gate is some 4, 4b2 that's made um, not straight in two sections like that. It's all glued and screwed together, it's very strong. And we've got two hinges which you get on a door there onto a really solid pillar here. Um, and also on the bottom of the gate there is a wheel. So it, it allows it just to, to run across like that. You can just park it over there anyway. So I thought the gate was a good solution to a problem of how you actually get across the shed without having to duck under boards anyway. Right, I'm just putting the finishing touches to the gate. Um, the framework for the gate is, is all finished now and I'm just putting these uh, 9mm sides on it. We'll just finish it off. Um, be, be very careful getting the angle correct. So it varies between 1.5 and 1.2 all the way from there going all the way down and all the way up there. This ramp has caused me a little bit of a problem because I've had to remove all the framework for the the uh, main layout while I've been doing this. Um, and it gives me a height problem. So the way I'm going to get around the height problem is actually put blocks under the uh, the boards, then I'll just raise it just enough to get a uh, 
rolling stock underneath the the boards so then um <coughs> you'll be able to go from the workshop over there all the way around across the gate when it's obviously shut like that and all the way around and either go here into the lower level where you've got that three-way point down there or you'll be able to go on point system down there onto the th this level which will then take you right the way around and go all the way up there and eventually up by the tv up there there's a um, double slip which will then you'll be able to enter onto the main layout gates approaching completion now looking pretty good just need to put a cork on there and then we get some track on it Quite a busy track laying on the lower level. This is just a piece of track that I'm prepared to go in. Um, it's all down on the way. I've now got one loop that goes all the way down there, right there around, all the way around over there, and it's sort of finished over there at the moment. So we're getting on with it. Um, and we've got <coughs> some stock of track there, plenty of track there. And some more there, ready to go on. So yeah, we're getting on with this and hopefully in the next couple of days we might have a few more uh, lines complete below and maybe by the end of the month we might have actually something running. So I now have one of the tracks on this gate. Just need to secure that all the way around. So now we can take this move along here on this bit of a transition that's into a six foot radius curve moves around there and that would then go into that three way and then that splits and then you'd have three tracks going all the way around all the way around to the other side you can see that one there then goes into that couple of points there and eventually we'll go back through there and end up into the workshop there so we're getting on with this and eventually when I put all the slacks on I'll do a lot of testing along with it and they go into the point there and find out that way and go all the way into the workshop so all I need to do to, to this now is get some point motors on there which I'll use servos using mega points to drive the servos and then all the wiring that's underneath and connect it up because I will eventually be using light train on this uh, but that's a new adventure for me so uh, that's for the future anyway something else I've done to the shed the PC and I've got a permanent home over there it's a nice little desk and I'll run light train and uh, use it to design a few other bits um, maybe in template things like that all four, four uh, storage tracks are now down. They go from there and go all the way around, all the way around. And they, they come out down there. So that's, that's that done. Um, all the wiring is high, hanging down there. That's a little board which I'll set up some uh, connection blocks for uh, some wiring. There's loads, loads more droppers hang down all the way underneath that all got got to be done so that that's where we're up to so far i think uh, and all the tracks out here crossing the bridge all the tracks out here crossing the bridge are uh, now complete so you could actually run a train so far across the bridge and into the main shed because um all those wires come to the the board on on the other side of the shed there um so yeah so that that's as far as we got so so far um the next step the next step will be to wire all these tracks up and then we do loads and loads of testing on to make sure everything runs fine because the worst thing you want is derailments underneath 
the main board because it's going to be difficult to get to see so so uh, you can see this going round all the way up underneath there so that's where we're up to anyway Right, so thanks for watching so far. Uh, hopefully, you've got a better idea of where I'm actually up to and uh, what the state of the layout is. Uh, the timetable for th this layout now is being put back, I think, um, because I've now got a part time job. Uh, I actually drive a 15 inch um, loco around a uh, local railway uh, over in Bersco. Um to give a bit of pocket money to pay for things for what actually constructed in the, this layout uh, so that means i work two days a week so i'll show a picture of an engine square out here and that's uh, that's what i'm driving um so yeah um hopefully you've got a better idea of where we're to anyway um and hopefully uh, i'll see see you shortly anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to click and subscribe uh, comments are welcome and uh, hopefully i'll see you soon